call. Colin King. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise and speak to the second reading of the Biosecurity Law Reform Bill. Um, I would have liked to have been able to address the bill in, in some depth, but I think that's been done very adequately by previous speakers. I'd just like to spend a bit of my time to rebut some of the uh, opposition's comments. Uh, just take people back down uh, memory lane. It was 12 years ago, 11 or 12 years ago, that Murray Sherwin, uh, on being appointed as the Director General of MAF, pointed out to the people of New Zealand that a uh, foot and mouth incident in New Zealand would have a cost of about $10 billion. Uh, further along the way, we had the Waiheke uh, Island experience, and we learned that there was nothing substantive being done from the time of 2000 through to that, that incident. So I would just say to the members in the opposition that they are lions in opposition and lambs in government because the Primary Production Select Committee spent three years sitting on its hand waiting for work to come from the then Labor government and nothing was forthcoming. Having said that, Mr Speaker, I would like to say from the on behalf of the Select Committee, the major risk is from the importers. And with the GIA, we are putting in place a very appropriate uh, measure to manage the outbreak of an incursion. But really, the question that we can't answer is how do you penalise a person who breaches uh, our border control and brings in a biosecurity incursion? That is the $64,000 question. So we this bill is very good. The GIAs are very appropriate. They are overdue. We have seen so many cases where an ounce of prevention would have pound, pre prevented a pound of cure. This is good legislation. It should have been in law uh, ten years ago, but because of the procrastination and finding it difficult to make the hard calls by the previous Labor government, we are dealing with it today. Very good legislation, Mr Speaker. Uh, I commend it to the House.